record-breaking temperatures in Australia and the Philippines, posing risks to public health, livelihoods, and ecosystems. Sea level rise exceeds global average, threatening Pacific islands with over half the population living within 500 meters of the coast. Adapting to rising sea levels presents complex challenges beyond physical solutions. Here are some examples of significant extreme weather events during 2024. January and February in the Philippines. Extreme rainfall in eastern Mindanao caused flooding and landslides, resulting in 93 deaths in February due to an active northeast monsoon phase. January to March in Australia. Major flooding occurred in northern Australia for the second consecutive year during the tropical wet season. The Victoria River catchment experienced 315.4 mm of rain in four days, surpassing its previous record by over 300 mm. Major flooding also occurred in the Nullarbor region, disrupting road and rail transport between Western Australia and the Eastern States. February in Australia In February, Western Australia experienced a significant heat wave, with Carnarvon and Geraldton reaching record highs. Emu Creek experienced its first ever 48 degrees Celsius temperature, making 2023 by 2024 the hottest summer on record for many parts of the region. February to May in the Philippines and Malaysia, the Philippines experienced extreme heat waves in April, with the highest temperature recorded at 38.8 degrees Celsius at Nainoy Aquino International Airport in Manila. This was the highest temperature in the country, and multiple heat waves were reported in Malaysia between February and May, with temperatures ranging from 37 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius over three consecutive days. March in Indonesia Sumatra, Indonesia, experienced flash flooding in March, with daily rainfall reaching 505 mm at Limomani Andalas University in Padang. July to October in the Philippines the Philippines was severely impacted by the strongest typhoon of the season, Krathen, which reached a minimum central pressure of 920 HPA on October 1st. Bosco received 727.8 mm of rain in 24 hours. Flooding from typhoons Gimi and Praparun in July and monsoon rains also had significant impacts. August in Australia a heat wave in Australia set a record high temperature of 41.6 degrees Celsius in August, with other records in the Northern Territory at 40 degrees Celsius and Queensland at 30.7 degrees Celsius in the same month. October in New Zealand In early October, New Zealand experienced significant flooding in the southern and eastern South Island, particularly around Dunedin, with numerous properties inundated and numerous road closures. Dunedin experienced its wettest October day on record, with 131 mm of rain. October to November in the Philippines Between October and November, the Philippines experienced a significant series of tropical cyclones, with five landslides across Luzon Island and other islands, and a sixth passing close enough to the coast to have significant impacts. November and December in Malaysia and Singapore in late November and early December, Malaysia experienced significant flooding due to the northeast monsoon. Bisset, Terengganu State, received 712.2 mm of rain, resulting in six deaths and 130,000 displacements. This was also Singapore's wettest November on record. December in Fiji, Late December saw significant flooding in Bidi Levu due to an active low-pressure trough and a tropical depression, with several stations receiving two to three times their normal monthly rainfall, including Nadi Airport.